The debt of European countries and sovereign debt has been an issue that traders have been grappling with recently. Our guest is Kathy Lean here today to talk about that. Kathy, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Well, we're hearing less and less, it seems, about the sovereign debt crisis in Europe, and yet it's still an issue. What are traders thinking here? Well, you know, the sovereign debt crisis in Europe is a very long-term problem. I like to call it a annoying fungus that keeps on growing back because it comes and then the market you know, focuses on it and then it fades and everyone forgets about it and then it comes back to haunt the euro when you least expect it. But what is the most important thing here is that the sovereign debt crisis is really a crisis of sentiment because when investors are willing to fund or to lend to those countries in question, then it's no, not really a big deal. If they're not willing to lend to countries in question, and they're really nervous, then it's a very big deal. So we are having persistent problems in Europe, and they have really huge you know, deficits. But if you take a look at the bond auctions, they've been going very, very well. So because of that, it indicates you know, investors are still buying the debt of those countries that have been you know, under the greatest scrutiny. And for that reason, you know, Euro traders are ignoring it, and that's why the Euro has seen such a you know, spectacular rally, because you know, people are looking at what's going on in the U.S., how the Federal Reserve could do additional quantitative easing, which is dollar bearish, but at the same time, investors are still funding Europe. So are these traders at some point going to start looking for a short opportunity? At what point or at what level do they decide that enough's enough, it's, we've, we, it's time to take profits and maybe short? Well, you know, the 136 level is a pretty important level in the euro dollar. I think in general, you know, whenever we um, get very overextended in a currency, especially when um, we don't really have too much growth, it becomes very dangerous because we, I always like to say to the path to a weaker currency is always through a stronger one because when you have a country or a region like um, the eurozone that's very dependent upon exports, when the currency is very strong, it's going to hurt growth. So I think as we get to 136 towards 140, and I don't think we're going to get to 140, um, it's going to have a really big drag in the currency. You're see people come in short the euro. We heard all about Greece recently and, and their debt problems and, and a little bit about Spain. Are those the two countries you think that are still the issues? Actually, I think um, the focus lately has been on Ireland. Um, because Spain has said, you know, they really um, don't think that they're going to, you know, default and not going to need uh, emergency funding. The focus has shifted off Greece for a little while. Right now, everyone's focused on Ireland because there's been a lot of speculation that they may need emergency funding from the IMF and EU. Um, also, Anglo-Irish Bank, which is the bank that the uh, government bailed out, um, is reported to, to, um, to basically announce relatively soon that they're not going to be able to pay back all the debt holders. So overall, you know, that's really where markets are looking at right now, but the whole region and those pig countries are still the ones that people are worried about. Are there other currencies outside of the euro that, that this will have an effect on that, that also represent trading opportunities? Very good question. I mean, the big currency that we're looking at um, as a um, victim of this is going to be the British pound because a lot of UK banks um, lend to these um, countries and lend to the banks of these countries because of the proximity and so forth. And if we do see a default in you know, any of the countries in question, it's going to hurt the UK financial sector and that's going to drag on the British pound. Kathy, thanks for your time. My pleasure.